everyone. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a project share of some of the things that I've made for Rachel for our summer swap. Um, I'll probably hold off on posting this video for a little while just so she isn't, um, you know, not surprised when she gets the items. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and film now since I have a few things made. Now, uh, we just decided on a few random things, kind of like a tag flip, a 3D project, some embellishments, things like that. This is not the whole swap. This is just what I've made so far as of yesterday and today. Um, I did a little bit of crafting last night after work. Um, I'm not typically one to craft in the evenings during the week unless I really have the energy to do so. And I did have a little bit of energy last night. Um, I just get really tired in the evenings and I just kind of usually just go to the gym and then just crash out. Or uh, if I do have the energy, like mental and physical energy to craft, then I will do that. So I did that last night and I put together a tag flip. Um, I had actually started making the tag flip last week, but then my sewing machine was acting up. So I had to order a new one. I have to get my old one fixed, um, but I wasn't able to do any stitching or anything until last night when I got my uh, new sewing machine set up. Um, so today I put together a 3D project and some embellishments and I'm going to show you the tag flip and everything that I've made today as well. So the tag flip that I made last night is this one. I am working with the Maggie Holmes Sunny Days collection. Um, this is just a bunch of trims that I put onto the, um, the binder ring. Now I am using some of the, um, the specialty, uh, ephemera that's like all letters and numbers and things. Um, so there's like a lot of acetate and things like that. So I decided to use that pack to make my tag flip because otherwise I don't use that pack very often. You know, I haven't really worked with it. So the first one is the letter R because this is gonna be for Rachel. Um, I decorated, I did stitch around the border of the R um, and then I also used some ephemera and um, cardstock stickers, chipboard stickers and things to decorate the rosette that I have from Lori. And I used one of those little sentiment stickers I got for Tuesday morning um, a long time ago. So this is the first tag. I just think it turned out really, really cute. This is the second one. Now I'm also using the chipboard from Poolside and the Pier, which are older crepe paper collections. Um, I've just been kind of tying some of those chipboard pieces in with my Sunny Days projects. Now again, this um, base ephemera piece or cut apart is from the pack that came with Sunny Days, which is all just letters and numbers. Uh, basically, I've just covered it up, but I did stitch on some sequins. Um, I added a little sentiment sticker from the Sunny Days sticker book. It is a clear sticker. These chipboard pieces are all from, um, I think these are all from the poolside chipboard. And um, yeah, just some enamel dots from my stash. But I think it turned out so cute. This is just a number six. I, again, I was just trying to use those ephemera pieces. Um, I did stitch uh, a little bit on here across the number six. You can't really see it because I added one of those little sunny days bows and I added a sunny days sticker that says happy with you and some gold enamel dots. Okay, this one I used, again, I, all of these um, base pieces are from that ephemera pack. Um, and then I just, uh, most of them have gotten covered up, but I did stitch on some more sequins on this one. Um, I used some chipboard from um, pull side and um, I used some gold thread and some enamel or some ephemera pieces from sunny days um, so yeah I just think that little motor scooter is so cute okay this one is um, chipboard on um, from sunny days uh, this the sweet life is a big piece that's kind of hard to use so I just added it to this uh, tag um, I uh, added this little ice cream from the sunny days chipboard and then one of the sunny days little paper flowers and some enamel dots from my stash Okay, this one I did, again, completely cover up the letter, but I did stitch around the circle. This is a Sunny Days chipboard sticker. These are just enamel dots from my sash. And the little sunglasses are from Poolside, I believe, um, or I don't know. It might be from the pier. Again, I have been using ch uh, chipboard from both. This is just an acetate piece from one of the, from that uh, firmer pack. I used some little gold, like, arrow um, stickers from the Poolside chipboard. This camera, I believe, was also from Poolside. This um, best day ever is from the puffy thickers from, um, aren't they're kind of like, uh, not puffy, but they're kind of like um, enamel-y type puffies. They're not really puffy. They're not really, they're more like enamel stickers from um, the Sunny Days thickers. And then this little word bubble here is from a pack of Felicity Jane chipboard stickers that I have, or like little chipboard pieces that I have. 
Okay, and then this last one is actually my favorite. I think this turned out so cute. I used a paper ruffle that I put together last year that I just, or the last time I worked with Sunny Days, which was actually, I think, two years ago. I had a bunch of them just thrown in with my collection, so I used one of these paper ruffles, added some cardstock stickers, a rosette from Lori, added this ice cream from, I think this one is from the pier, um, some uh, chipboard that says hot from poolside and then a little label sticker from sunny days underneath it and then some gold thread and i stitch on some more um some more uh, sequins and added some enamel dots and i just love how that one turned out so so that is my um tag flip that i'll be sending to rachel i think it turned out so cute um okay so i did make a little 3d project i used the scrap diva designs um sand bucket uh die so i did um I, I did not decorate this yet so um you'll probably see this on my instagram later once it's actually decorated but i'm kind of hitting a wall right now so i'm just going to show you the bucket itself um, i used a combination of a couple mixes from my stash um this was i think a couple that i had put together and i just kind of mixed them together um the background paper is just this beautiful shell paper with the gold foiling um i use this um like it's kind of like a fish scale pattern on the sides and on the bottom and then this the shell paper on the back as well um i did use these really cute little eyelets that i had in my stash from eyelet outlet they're little starfish i think that turned out so cute i'm putting the handle on and then I used um, this pink striped paper along the handle as well. And then the wavy um, fish scale on the handle also. I did not do any stitching um, on this because it has a lot of stitching detail. Used um, foam to make this little um, layering piece here and then add a gold glitter. And I will decorate this. I just haven't yet, but I just wanted to at least show you the base. I think it turned out really cute. When I do decorate it, I'll post a picture at some point. Um, I probably won't post any of this stuff though. And then I am gonna use this to decorate it. I just haven't um, done that yet. I used a piece of foam and then gold glitter to make the little sand pail bucket or the sand pail shovel. So again, I probably won't show any of these items on my Instagram until um, I send off my package to Rachel. I just don't want to ruin the surprise. All right, so I did make some little shaker embellishments. I used a film strip die that I've had in my stash for a really long time and I haven't used it yet. Um, so I did make a um, four film strip shaker uh, embellishments. Um, I used, again, paper from the Sunny Days collection, stickers and ephemera and chipboard from um, Sunny Days, some enamel dots from my stash. And that's the first one. This one, I did add a little rosette from Lori. Um, this little shell um, a wood veneer is from Dollar Tree. The sunshine and the little puffy um, sandcastle and sunshine sticker are from the Rosie Studio Keeping Cool last year. I decided to pull out some of those little element stickers and pieces to go um, with some of my projects. This is one of my favorite papers from Sunny Days. It's like the striped one. And I just used a sequin mix from my stash. Um, I think it turned out so pretty. And then again, enamel dots for my sash as well. And this one, um, this little sand bucket um, chipboard is from the pier. The summer mode is from sunny days. This uh, little starfish um, um, little piece here is actually from the bucket die. It's um, just a little sand or sea, what are these called? starfish um so i just cut out some of those in gold glitter to use for some embellishments and these are just some tickets and kind of parts from the uh, sunny days and then again some enamel dots from my stash so that's the third one and then this one is the watermelon paper i used another uh, all of these um sequin mixes are from me from ones that I've made um, I use a little ticket kind of chipboard in the back from the pier um, this little piece of watermelon is a chipboard or a cardstock sticker from sunny days and then this is a ch uh, chipboard sticker from sunny days um, so I just added those on some enamel dots and then this simply awesome is from one of those Rosie studio uh, keep it cool um, sticker the puffy sticker sentiments and then some gold threads so these are the four embellishments that I made today um, and then I also made a bunch of bag toppers using a KS Craft die that I got recently. Um, it's a really cute die. And I did use some um, 
some of my sequin mixes and also some sequin mixes actually that are from Rachel. So I did stitch on some tulle and made these all into little shakers. Um, again, the chipboard is all variety from Sunny Days or um, the pier or the poolside chipboards that I have out. This little bathing suit puffy is from Rosie Studio, the, the Keeping Cool collection. These little hearts are from Sunny Days and then some enamel dots. And then this is a cardstock sticker that I puffed up. So I think that sequin mix went really well with this collection. And I used like a bright pink thread on all of my um, things that I did stitch um, for these projects. Um, this is a sequin mix that I made, and then I just used a little, um, another one of those little wood veneer um, shells from Dollar Tree. I had this summer um, sequin, or the summer word sentiment from the Pink Crafter, or Little Pink Crafter. She and I did a swap two years ago, um, and she sent me, she actually sent me one of these little buckets, and she had in me included some of these little summer sentiments, and so I used one of those, and then a Sunny Days Chipboard Heart. And then some gold thread as well. Um, so yeah, I think these all turned out super, super cute. Um, this one is another pink sequin mix, or another sequin mix that I made. Um, this is, again, just chipboard from The Pier and Sunny Days. And this unwind is from Rosie Studio, gold thread. This little sunglass sticker is from um, the Rosie Studio as well. And then again, some enamel dots. So yeah, super pretty. This one is, again, another one of those sentiments from her that she got uh, sent me two years ago when we did a swap. One of those um, beautiful paper ro uh, roses, paper flowers from Sunday Days. This sequin mix is actually from... Uh, no, this one is one of mine, I believe. Yeah, this one is one of mine, um, but I think it matched this uh, bag topper really, really well. And I did use a combination of aqua and pink tool that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, if you've ever seen the um, the tool that they sell in like the long, it's like a, about this wide, uh, about s probably about six inches, seven inches wide or so, and it's really long, uh, like a long piece. I did use, I made three with the pink tool and three with the aqua tool. Although it's kind of hard to tell the colors, the aqua one especially, the pink one is a little easier. This is another one I used one of Rachel's sequin mixes on. Some uh, chipboard from Sunny Days, this little camera is a cardstock sticker, and then this one, the little floral piece is from, um, pull sign I believe the happy sentiment is from the Rosie studio collection that I pulled out and then some little enamel dots and gold thread and then the last one is this one I used one of my mixes again uh, a rose uh, rosette that I got from Lori some uh, this is a cardstock sticker from sunny days and this is a cardstock sticker and then also some enamel dots so yeah so this is everything that I made um, last night and today, um, like I said, I will, I might show the bucket again once I decorated it. Um, once I decorated, I'm just, I'm on like, I've been crafting most of the day and I'm kind of tired and my back is killing me right now. Um, but like I said, I probably won't post this for a little while. Um, I don't want to ruin the surprise. Uh, so you guys might see this in like May and it's only like April, what is today the 13th so you might not see this for about a month or so um but i at least wanted to show you um what i've put together so far and then once i finish everything from my swap for rachel i'll show you the rest and then i'm going to get started on my swap for sylvia so if anyone does have any questions please let me know if you've not already i'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone